Inside the Lines is brought to you by Hendrick Honda of Charleston. When you buy a new or pre-owned vehicle, our Advantage program takes care of you for life. Make Hendrick Honda of Charleston your first choice for your next vehicle. Visit their showroom at 1478 Savannah Highway in Charleston or online at charlestonhonda.com. And we welcome you to another edition of Inside the Lines here on CFCSports.com, brought to you by Hendrick Honda of Charleston. We come to you inside TV Arena. Of course, the guys are already preparing for next week's game behind us. Big uh, week for the men's basketball team and the women's basketball team. Off to a great start. And, of course, we'll check in with the volleyball team as well, coming off their Southern Conference championship win against Furman. They were in action in the NCAA tournament. But we'll start with men's basketball. The College of Charleston hosting 5th rank Louisville, the highest ranked team to ever come and play on the Cougars home court. We'll start right away here in the first half early on. Cougars down 6-0, but the captain is going to come through and get the Cougars on the board. Andrew Lawrence going coast to coast, gets fouled, hits the shot. He would complete the three-point play. Watch it again through the triple team, through the double team, throws it up. Great touch, good strength, and the Cougars are on the board. Moments later, Cougars try to go inside. The Cardinals take it away. Eventually, the ball finds the hands of Russ Smith, who lays it down on the other end for two. Unfortunately, turnovers would be a big story in this one for the Cougars. And an otherwise tough night for CFC. A Jai Baru, a big bright spot. Here off the feet from Anthony Stitt, Baru lays it in to beat the shot clock for the first of his team leading 16 points. Back on the other end, Louisville, Wayne Blackshear. Three of his game, high 18. Later, more Cardinals, Peyton Siva. Knocks down the long two, and Louisville will go into the half up by 20. Second half, hot start for the Cougars. Look like they're going to try and get back into this one. After the break, Anthony Stitt knocks down the three. Good start in the second half. And then moments later, it's Anthony Stitt again. Another three ball. Here comes Charleston. But unfortunately, the turnover bug would bite again. Russ Smith, one more time. Here he comes again, coast to coast, off the steal, and a nifty behind the back move, lays it in for two, and Louisville back in control. Now, like we said before, biggest bright side of the game for CFC was Brew, misses the free throw, but a great hustle play to track down his own rebound. Eventually will drive the baseline, pull up and hit the jumper, great shot. Ends the night with 16 points and 14 rebounds, but in the end, too much Louisville. Number five team in the country wins it by a final of 82-38. Obviously a tough loss for the Cougars, but again, going back to the bright spot in that game against Louisville, Ajay Baru already off to a great start through the first seven games and in game number eight against the fifth-ranked Cardinals, above his season average in all totals, minutes, points, shooting, rebounds, blocks, steals. Had a big game, a monster game for Baru, and I think his coach agrees. He couldn't even touch the ball in the first half because of the zone, you know, and, and goes and gets a double-double and plays 37 minutes and commits one personal foul. I mean, that is just big time, really big time. He fit. Athletically, he fit. And so we get Trent going and get him back. Um, I was really pleased with Matt Sundberg's effort. Uh, I thought he played and competed. Um, so, uh, you know, we're going to build off of that. Kids are off for two days, and they need to get away from it. They need to, they need to, they need to take care of their books. And, and uh, we'll try to get the students back, try to get them energized by the time they get back. So, well, despite the loss by the basketball team, the men still five and three now on the season, one and zero in conference play. So, still a good start. And speaking of good starts, remember the volleyball team had a great start to the season, a really terrific season. They go all the way to the Southern Conference Championship game. They win the conference championship by beating Furman. They go to the NCAA tournament. They beat Miami. Then they run into a tough Florida squad. They do lose to Florida, but still second round of the NCAA tournament. Great way to finish off that season. Got a chance to catch up with Jason Kepner, head coach for the volleyball team, and talk about the season. Yeah, it was a great year. I, I can't complain at all about uh, how the team performed. They, they battled through a lot of matches, even to get to the NCAA tournament uh, at the conference championships, playing uh, three great teams and performed extremely well and then excelled in the first match of the NCAA tournament against Miami, uh, being able to, to play a team who had as much success as Miami did all season long uh, out of conference and also within the ACC, finishing second and coming down to the wire with the last match of the season. Uh, for them to have a chance to win the ACC, for us to, to play them and get it and, and beat them in five was a was a great performance and and it was extremely important for everyone to be a big part of that and I thought the entire team stepped up and, and did a great job there and uh, I'm just very proud of, of this team's performance and, and this season uh, and to be a part of getting back to the second round for only the second time ever is is a huge accomplishment and uh, I'm, I'm excited to be a part of it. 
Again, congratulations to Jason Kepner, the entire team as the volleyball season ends with that second round loss to Florida, but a terrific season. And for you volleyball fans, don't forget sand volleyball is going to start coming up in the spring. We'll take a break. When we come back, the women's basketball team off to a good start as well. Had a great week. That and more as we continue on Inside the Lines here on CFCSports.com. At Hendrick Honda of Charleston, you get our best price every day. When you buy a new or pre-owned vehicle, our Advantage program takes care of you for life. We offer a lifetime powertrain limited warranty, free towing and shuttle service, complimentary loaner cars, and paintless dent repair. Make Hendrick Honda of Charleston your first choice for your next vehicle. Visit us today at 1478 Savannah Highway in Charleston or online at charlestonhonda.com. And we welcome you back inside TD Arena for another edition of Inside the Lines here on CFCSports.com. Thanks for tuning in. Talked about the men's basketball team and their game against number five Louisville. Talked about the volleyball team. Now time to switch gears and talk about the women's basketball team. Off to a great start as well. Take a look at the Southern Conference standings. And there you see overall this season they are 4-4, four 2-0 and four, two and oh in conference play right now. Tied for first place in the Southern Conference with Chattanooga and Samford. Right behind them, App State, Davidson, Elon. Good start for the girls. Now, Natasha Adair is out recruiting this week, the head coach for Charleston. So we caught up with their associate head coach, Bob Clark, to talk about the hot start. I think everybody on the coaching staff and Coach A would, would uh, echo this and, and probably say it louder that everybody's bought into what we're trying to sell. And we just keep telling our team that every time they step on the court and practice in a game, they have to get better. And as long as we keep doing that, we're going to go in the right direction. What the future holds, we don't know. We're very happy with our progress up to this point. And uh, after this exam period and some time uh, to work on some things, we're going to start playing again. And again, we don't know what the future holds, but we know if we keep working, if we continue to get better, good things will happen. Again, thanks to Bob Clark for stopping by and checking in with the women's basketball team. Off to a great start, doing a good job as they are 2-0 to start conference play. That'll wrap up this week's show of Inside the Lines here on CFCSports.com. Don't forget, we really want you guys to reach out to us with your questions and any comments that you might have. Now the basketball season is underway. If you have any questions for any of the players or the coaches on either the men's side or the women's side, we'll pass your questions along and have the player come on camera with us and answer those questions for you. You can reach us on our email account at CFCSports at gmail.com or you can tweet us at CFC video. That's at CFC video. Make sure you send us your questions and we'll pass those along. Thanks again for tuning in this week. We'll talk to you again next week right here on Inside the Lines on CFCSports.com.